This is George from High Tech Legion. Today we're going to be taking a look at Noctua's new NFA fan line of 140mm fans. Uh, there are three fans in the line, however what you're basically looking at here is one fan tweaked out in three different ways for three different usages. You've got the NFA 14 ULN, NFA 14 FLX, and finally the NFA 15 PWM. They do share a lot of commonalities. Like I say, pretty much same fan, just tricked out a little bit differently. Taking a look at the common uh, pieces of it, um, we're going to see that they all use the AAO frame, the acoustic uh, Advanced Acoustic Optimization frame, which has stepped inlet as well as um, the inner wall dimples. Uh, what this is going to do is create more turbulence coming in. It's going to uh, also give you less noise, uh, suction noise from side flow. The blades are going to be able to make use of a lot better that. It uses the air channeling blades, which is going to speed up the air around the outside, um, giving you also less suction noise. So you're going to get dramatically increased efficiency and airflow with lower noise using these uh, advantages. Of course, the AEO frame also uses vibration pads all around on all of the units. So, very good looking pieces. Let's take a look at them individually and see exactly what they are meant for and how they are tricked out. We're going to begin with the NFA 15 PWM. As you can see, uh, the basket is obviously significantly different than uh, the square basket we saw on the others. It is actually a 140mm fan, uses a round basket, 120mm mounting holes. This is going to be perfect for use on CPU coolers. It does have PWM, which the others do not. Uh, with the 120mm mounting holes, obviously going to be easy to use fan clips on a CPU cooler that uses 120mm fans typically, so you're going to be able to add a lot of airflow to a fan or to a cooler, I should say, that typically uses 120 millimeter fans. Also, PWM for CPU cooler, uh, going to be absolutely fantastic. Taking a look, comes with the tool-free mounts. Comes already with the Y adapter if you're going to do a push-pull configuration. Extension cable. And low noise adapter. Going around, taking a look at the specs. We've got rotational speeds of 1200 and 900 with the low noise adapter. Obviously with the PWM, um, you're not, if you're not using the low noise adapter, it's going to range from 900 to 1200 uh, RPM. You've got great air movement at 68 CFM uh, with only 19.2 dB of noise. So you've got great air movement to noise, that's at 1200 RPM. As you step down to 900 RPM, you're going to wind up with 52.3 CFM at only 13.8 dB. So you've got great air movement as well as very, very low sound. Really nice uh, setup for a CPU cooler. The NFA 14 FLX, as you can see, uses a standard square frame, making it ideal for case mount or even a radiator mount, uh, some CPU coolers as well are very good with the square mount. However, it's not PWM, so you are going to have to keep that in mind if you're going to be using it for any type of CPU or radiator cooling. Uh, standard square frame, as we said, with the anti-vibration. Comes with a nice assortment of accessories, extension cable, ultra low noise adapter, low noise adapter, 3-pin to 3-pin, as well as a 3-pin to 4-pin low noise adapter. Uh, going around the back, taking a quick look at the specs. Uh, it's going to read the same as the um, NFA 15 PWM. Going to top out 1200 RPM with 68 CFM at 19.2 dB and also 900 uh, RPM with the low noise adapter at 52.3 CFM at only 13.8 dB. However, uh, with the standard low noise adapter, you're going to come in at uh, 1050 RPM at 60 CFM and only 16.4 dB. So you're going to get a lot of air movement with very, very little noise and also very, very flexible uh, performance from the 14 FLX. The NFA 14 ULN shares uh, exact aesthetics with the FLX. As you can see, square cage for case radiator or uh, CPU cooler. Uh, not a good choice for radiator or CPU as ULN stands for ultra low noise. So what you're going to have here is very low airflow, very low noise. You're going to want this for case applications where a lot of airflow is not necessary. Uh, taking a look at the accessories, low noise adapter, 3-4 to four pin low noise adapter, and an extension cable. And 
taking a look around the back, taking a look at the specs, we see top speed out is only 800 RPM. At 800 RPM, it's only going to put out uh, 47 CFM, but it's going to do it at a very quiet 11.9 dB. With the ultra low noise adapter, only 650 RPM, uh, putting out 39.1 CFM, but an astonishing low 9.1 dB. So this is definitely going to be something you're going to want to use in a very quiet capacity where uh, a lot of airflow is not going to be necessary. With the NFA lineup, Noctua has really taken uh, all of the qualities we've seen from Noctua fans in the past. The great air movement, quiet uh, performance, and very high static pressure, and packed them into three uniquely different uh, pieces. Each one customized to be used in different manners. So there should be something there for just about everybody, uh, and in just about every application you're going to be able to get the highest performance possible with uh, the least amount of noise.